Hey everyone, welcome to the video. Today I am starting a new playlist of Code Forces Edu section binary search topic. A bit of a backstory. Actually, when I was doing uh, binary search, uh, I didn't find any video particularly of Code Forces Edu section binary search topic on YouTube. Uh, since then, I thought of making one myself, and here we are. So we are starting from the step one. and the problem a which is a simple binary search problem in which we have to implement this binary search algorithm and we are given two integers n and k where n is the length of the array and k is the number of the queries both n and k are up to 10 to the power 5 and minimum value can be 1 so we have to basically take first input the array of n size uh, in the second line in the third line we are given k queries which basically are numbers which are to be searched in this array and if they exist in the array we have to output ts otherwise output no have to be printed on the screen and the array we are given is already sorted in non decreasing order which basically means it's an increasing order but there could be multiple same values uh, like 2 2 3 3 that's why it's said as non decreasing order and the queries can have like value up to 10 to the power 9 which is absolute which actually means the values in the queries can be from negative 10 to the power 9 up to positive 10 to the power 9 so we are given an array which is sorted in non decreasing order and we have to find some uh, value x so what we will do is we will first of all find it in the middle of the array if we find the element in the middle itself we will return true that we have found this element here else if if this current element is smaller than the x which is our uh, element to be searched we will simply find it in this section of the array since we know it's an array which is sorted in non decreasing order which is something like this the elements at this side are of smaller magnitude and elements at this side are comparatively greater in magnitude so if this current element in the middle is uh, smaller than x then we have to find it in this domain otherwise we will search in it in this domain and again we will find the mid element of whatever domain we are searching in and do the same for them either in this or this so that's how we will going to uh, do this uh, problem Uh, now since it's a very basic problem let's jump to the code here first of all we will take uh, input nk uh, as given in the problem and after that we will take an array as input here vll basically means uh, vector of long long and i have created a shortcut vcn to take array as input uh, rather than having this for loop and taking the elements one by one i have created this short shortcut now after that either we can take another array for the k queries but i am going to uh, take the elements one by one and search them in the array so we are going to create a for loop uh, of size like of not of size but from 0 to k and uh, after that we will uh, in take an element as input which is basically the query element and we will going to write an iterative logic for this binary search so uh, we will have two pointers one is left which basically means the indices of the array a so left pointer initially will have a value of 0 since it's the leftmost index and r will be having a value of n minus 1 as the rightmost index and we'll also have a mid uh, variable to find the mid value of the current domain so initially since we are searching in the whole array our domain is from 0 to n minus 1 that is the whole array and we will then have a while loop in which we will put this condition that l is small than equal to r which is quite obvious and we will then equate mid as l plus r minus l by 2 which is similar to r plus l by 2 but writing it in this way helps in rectifying the overflow issue which could occur due to a large value of l and r so we are rather than adding and dividing 
it by 2 after that we are doing l plus r minus l by 2 now uh, we'll have the main logic that if we find this element at the mid index uh, of the array which means if a mid is equal to x we will simply uh, also uh, i forgot we'll have a flag variable which we will initially put it as a false if we find this element anywhere in the array we will mark this flag as true and break from the loop otherwise if uh, the array element or the mid element which we are searching uh, is smaller than the x element which is to be searched in the array we will simply uh, since uh, we have already discussed it is a non decreasing array and the current element is smaller than x then we have to search in the right domain so we will simply put l equals to mid plus 1 and two cases we have already discussed and the last case which means a mid is greater than x we have to search in the left uh, domain so we will put r equal to mid minus 1 so that's it and in the last if we have found the element then the flag will be true and if flag is true which means we have found the element we will print yes otherwise we will print no and hopefully this will work for the input as you can see i have already taken the input in the input text file so let's build this file and we can see uh, we have got the output which was already there but let us try to submit it in the problem itself Uh, and as you can see it got accepted and that's it i hope you like the video and if you do please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you